Hello guys, okay, we're gonna continue our Blender 2.9 video editing how-to. And this time I wanna talk about transformations and how to apply transformations on your video. This is zoom in, zoom out, rotate, and basically all of those. So we're gonna to go to file, new video editing, and that'll take us to this video, video editing that I have described. If you still don't know what the heck any of this is, watch the first one. I'll leave a link down below or I'll leave a link to the playlist of all of these. But that one covers all the settings, but yes, you have to change this to FFmpeg. Yes, if you want sound, you gotta you gotta go down here to audio and change it to AAC. All right, so I'm just basically doing the same thing I did last video of just uh, setting up where I want things to go. Well, you know, so some basic settings there. Now let's bring a video in here, and then we are going to do some transformations on it, and I'll go over that. Let's go to my D drive. And then go to recordings. There's a bunch of stuff here. I don't know, just bring something in. I'll hit the home button to get a full extension. Hit the page up button to go to the end. Copy and paste this in. And there we go. This light blue one is the video. This other one is the audio. Uh, so if I click my video and then you hit shift A, I get this, uh, this menu. You can also click, I think, add. Yeah, effect strip transform. We're going to look at transforms. So adding a transform is easy. You click on the video and you hit Shift A and you go to Effect Strip Transform. I'm going to Control Z that real quick. Optionally, you can click on the video, go to Add, Effect Strip Transform. Those are the two main ways of doing it. So I'm going to cover this in as fine as detail as I can. You, if you split up your, your uh, video, say I do a cut here and I want to transform, I don't know, maybe just a small section here, so I'll cut again there. I can click this little clip and add a transform to just it. And once again, Shift A. Shift A is what brings this up. So let's do a transform on just this section. Now what this transform allows you to do over here in your effect strip where it says uh, has some settings, you now have a scale, you now have a position, and you now have a rotation. That's the really the only ones we're going to be talking about in our case. So we're gonna click uniform scale, otherwise it does some stretchy effect. So if we click to like the middle of this, uh, we can see that if we scale the X, it's gonna stretch it out. If we scale it in, it's gonna zoom or uh, squash it down. And uh, similarly with the Y. But if we click uniform, it keeps them the same. And usually that's what you want. So I'm clicking uniform, it does a zoom in or it does a zoom out. So when you render a transform section, it does that literally. And if you're not seeing this stuff over here, Make sure that you've clicked the transform. You do have to highlight the transform. And make sure over here you're on strip because if you're on any of these other ones, it's not going to do it. You're not gonna get these options. So just uh, hopefully that makes it clear for some people that oh, might get stuck because they jam random buttons or whatever they do, I don't know. All right, so if we want to just zoom this in, we can increase the scale. So maybe it's not zoomed in on the right place. Maybe you want to zoom in somewhere else. That's where you adjust these positions, the X and Y here. If you move it to one side or the other, it goes different into different places. So maybe I want to zoom in on this weird little guy over here. So I put it right here. So now that those are set, when it goes to this section of the video, it is going to zoom in on that transform. So that's how you have just a standard zoom in. And then once it leaves it, it's back to normal. And that's basically it, but also you can rotate. So on this transform, you can apply this rotation, which does spins as you would expect. And you can just type in literally what you want. Default positions are zero, default scale is one, so you can just type those in if you wanna reset, and the default rotation is zero. So you can do that on any part of your video. You can chop up little sections, add transforms to them, and, and get your desired result. So maybe something is really small, like maybe I wanna go over here and I wanna show off a piece of code or something that's hard to see in the video. So uh, maybe I just wanna zoom it in, maybe it's a little too far. And I'm gonna do another little quick trick here. I'm gonna grab both of these edges where it's darker, click here, shift click here, and press G. And I can slide where this edge is. So maybe I wanna transform on this here. In fact, transform and uniform scale, zoom it on in. Uh, bring the X over this way a little bit. Another thing that often comes up once you start layering and transforming is, well, I'll show you. Well, I'll just get a couple small sections here. Cut this here. Zoom that way out. I don't know, this is some old video. Delete that. 
and I'm just going to grab another one here and, and I'm just going to grab a small chunk of that cut there, delete the other part delete that and I got this little chunk of video here so maybe you want to like layer videos on top of each other but you want one to be in a different like one up in the corner or something so that you can be talking about something and have a little clip of it up in the corner and you can do that with transforms but there's something you have to be aware of so for example if I take this clip which is on top and I go effect strip transform zoom it out so that it's smaller and there we have it it is smaller but now the clip behind it is not shown so when this happens when the clip behind it is not shown it's because this transform when you click on this transform it defaults to replace everything so in this adjust section under the strip it says replace and you can change this to overdrop and then it just overdrops and uh, that way you can have it still show what is behind it too so that's just another tip something you're going to run into is you're going to have uh, this default which is replace uh, so it doesn't show the stuff behind it and if you want it to you just got to change this to overdrop and that will take care of it now i can be whatever talking about it and then show a little clip or whatever and it looks like you know the cool things they do on the news where they have a tv up in the corner and they're like ah you know showing screenshots or whatever so that's how that is done with these transforms if you got a full video clip it's about the same for, for bringing in images and changing the size of images too you can apply these transforms to images that you drop in as well and do the same stuff I want to go just one deeper for the end of this just to give you a little more advanced knowledge if you wanted to zoom in and zoom out and not just do a quick jump here's what you can do you can keyframe these in and the hotkey for that is I or you can press this tiny little dot over here if you click it it saves a keyframe now all this does is it saves at that part wherever your playhead is it saves at that point wherever you are so if I go to the beginning of this transform well let's say say this is my final one I want it to be at uh, whatever in 2.23 and at these positions so I'll click here and I'll just save all these and click all these dots I could optionally hover over these and press I it does the same thing so now when it gets to this location it's going to save that keyframe however it needs multiple keyframes to work with to interpolate between them because right now it's while well, it's got a keyframe it needs another one so that it can change values so if we go somewhere else on the transform like at the beginning and set it to its defaults which are 0 0 and then scale of 1 it's back to its normal and we'll save those by clicking here click 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 and now as it goes from this to where that other keyframe was it will now interpolate and do a zoom in type effect so I'll click forward slowly here and there you go so it does a zoom in effect and then once it gets to that one it just stays if we want it to stay for a while we can go near the end save those keyframes again that way it locks it in for that short time then go to the end of it and have it do a zoom out back to normal by setting all these back to their defaults scale one save those and now what will happen during this is it will zoom in stay for a moment until it gets to the other keyframe stamp and then it hits this other keyframe stamp and I'm pressing the right arrow to advance one frame at a time and you can tell because these are yellow that it's at the keyframe and keyframe stamp and then the next stamp zooms it out so it's going to start zooming out so as this video plays back and once you've rendered it rendered it it will just do a zoom in zoom out like it looks like that so there you go that's the basics of adding transforms and keyframing it in to make it do cool stuff i do this all the time in my videos to kind of show stuff you've probably seen it in some of my videos this is one of the most common effects i use and let me know if you have any questions or if anything is unclear thanks for watching hope this helps you with your video editing on blender and getting your transforms right i'll see you in the next one and i'll probably cover some other thing just one effect per video is probably good peace out guys